All right, uh, we get into this bit of the conversation where we're having a group of anointed prophets. You want to call this uh, a legion? No, that's in a negative vein. Let's call it a group of anointed prophets who are gathering to share business ideas and also delve into areas that I'm sure us out are not too familiar with. Now, I'm pleased and blessed to have in the series today Prophet John Anoche. Uh, he is a presiding a prelate Worldwide Word Ministries and uh, also uh, John Anoche Ministries because I know last year you guys started the meeting edition of the Prophetic Business uh, Conference. He's joined by Apostle Chris Bedema. He's an executive pastor also with the same ministry. Guys, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So let's just straight into it. I know you started on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell us about this prophetic business conference everybody's talking about? Yes. Um, the prophetic uh, business conference is actually five years now. Wow. But the Zera um, business fair is um, the, in the second year. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Also, it's uh, part of the prophetic business it, conference. It is, yeah, yeah. All right. It's part. It's like um, a platform that um, has been created um, as part of the prophetic business conference to. Mm. Um, sort of um, bring on board um, exhibitors, entrepreneurs, in order to um, showcase the ideas and to also make sales and to market their product. Whoa, it's that's... a platform that we've been given to um, the business people, mm. um, especially um, in the church and even outside the church, to to come and do business together. Uh, this is to sometimes exchange, you know, cards together. Th this is very innovative, especially when a lot of people look at the church as a place for feeding the soul and everything spiritual. But you're trying to make sure that hey, you pray, but you must eat. Yes. Uh, is that the, is that the idea, uh, Pastor Bedema? Yes, uh, you can put it that way. No, the Bible says that. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, mm. even as a soul prosper. So God is looking at the holistic approach to life. Mm. So it's not only about the spiritual life. So that's one thing I really love about this prophet of God. You know, he teaches business. He teaches, he grooms businessmen to start businesses. And you can, we have people like people who are doing work, who have started businesses based on the teaching mm. and all of that. So it's just amazing how that he touches on every area of life, marriage, family, and all that. So, so who are the targets? Who are you looking at uh, attracting to this Zero Fair? Everybody. Every, uh, um, you know, in the past, we, we left off the Christian entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. and we only know to pray for them. <laughs> but um, we've discovered some, um, you know, some mystery in the Bible, principles of God in the Bible that our forefathers used um, and in their daily lives, mm. in their businesses, and the prospect. Um, I was trying to find out um, the richest man in, 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 in the world over mm -hmm. since um, inception of the world. Mm -hmm. And guess who I found? Um, I found a Bible character that is all-time rich. Mm -hmm. um, even the Americans have not even gotten to the point where this guy, his riches, you know, mm. uh, yes, was, was, was purged at. Um, somebody like Solomon, mm. uh, when you quantify his riches um, from his businesses that he did, you know, he traded with Lebanese, he traded with um, um, the Palestinians, he traded with Egypt, he traded with a lot of people. And um, the Bible says that his riches, when you quantify, is about $25 trillion. Mm. Oh, so the American's clear. economy is now paid at somewhere $19, $20 trillion. So there were business secrets that this man used. Okay, the Bible says that God gave him wisdom and mm. knowledge. And so what was the kind of wisdom that God gave him that he attracted, you know, um, the business people and did business with people, pagans, and people were not even um, worshipping his God, mm. but, and he prospered. And so what was this business secret that he used? So these are many more principles that, you know, um, are coded in the Bible that through the mysteries of the, the prophetic, you know, mm. revelation, we, we gather them and then we teach men and women and okay. then um, to be able to uh, be a success in, right. in their businesses. So clearly we are going to tap into all this biblical knowledge or uh, scriptures and how that impacts your life. So quickly before we sign out actually, uh, so do we have a date, do we have a venue for this? Uh, quickly. Mm. Yes, of course. Um, mm. The Prophetic Business Conference is on the Saturday. The Zera Business Fair started on Wednesday. Okay. So it's ongoing as we speak right now. All right. Um, but the business conference itself is going to start at tomorrow, which is Saturday, okay. at 2 p.m. Um, at the Accra City Hotel. Accra City Hotel, yes. former Novotel. So yes. clearly uh, it's open for all to come. So make sure uh, you're part of uh, this prophetic business conference. Also, the Zara uh, Fair as well. Many thanks to you for coming by this morning. And I'm sure you'd want to follow them on social media for more on this.